<laughs> things so, are uh, going last, sideways. La last time? Nah, things are going great. Sorry, getting crazy. We haven't, been, we haven't been asked a number of concerning questions yet. Totally. Things are going great. See nothing but rosy skies in the future. This party is getting crazy. We right. see rosy skies because the tent's broken down. Well, I mean, reasons aside, the skies are rosy. It's there. So, um, last time we kind of, Killian kind of charged in and uh, pulled Mara aside. And Mara's very furious and saying that the mask is part of the act. And Killian's like, hold on a second. We found that at the scene of a, like, political assassination crime. Um, punch might have been thrown. Um... And then Bastion, well, while all that's happening, Bastion sees Guy in armor under the bleachers, similar to that worn by the Ash Gang, and spooks him about the same time. Um, eventually, we learn that the gang guys aren't with Mara, and Mara is concerned with protect protecting uh, Dragonborn Guy, Mamro. Mamra, um, considers him a friend. So we got other problems. There's definite Ash Gang symbols on some more of these guys. They're all, like, throwing fireballs and and uh, going down like pancakes. And then Lily from the Children of the Flames rolls in. She makes a wall of fire. We get rid of the wall of fire. And then we kill her into a full-on phoenix. We know what's happening. Our players, our characters might not know what's happening. Um, Do we just kill till dies? Yeah, kill it till it dies, <laughs> even if it takes several times. I mean, what? It's never failed. <laughs> Here's the thing. It'd be funny if, like, she's not used to it, to the point that, like, if we keep doing it, she just gets tired and passes out. <laughs> <laughs> like, Richter never had to die, like, seven times in a row, and I'm wondering if he could have kept that up. I mean... I think he kept up six at one point, didn't he? I guess you still have to sleep, right? I'm just thinking, like, no. like overall strain on the person. Yeah, Richter got all his everything back every time he came back, so um, we don't know if the same rules apply here. It, yeah. That's also meta knowledge, so. It is very meta knowledge. We don't have any. Our characters don't if have any of that. If we're ignoring Let's meta go. knowledge, we're gonna keep killing it till it dies. If we're going with meta knowledge, we're gonna try keep killing it until it dies. I don't see the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Viking mentality. Yeah. Let's go. Okay, so. It's just a more informed decision. <laughs> Lily's form erupts in the flame and begins to spread out. Um, um, actually, hold on. Let me look at this real quick. Because since it is fire, I believe it could just be in your space. Yes. Yeah, but yes I, I'd rather you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> as flames engulf all of you immediately around her. Oh, please don't kill the cat. Which cat? Which cat? Cat, cat samurai. Okay. Oh, three. Ah. Cat samurai cat. Two of them. So, uh... Cat, the samurai, and the cat samurai. Yeah. I didn't roll it. Gosh darn it. 1d10. 9. Alright. Uh, so did you have protection from fire, or is that it? I'm still resistant until the end of my turn. Nice. And it's still technically my turn. Yep. And I'm naturally resistant to fire, so I only take 4. Then I think Lena just takes it. Yeah. So, the first time it enters a creature's space on a turn, so that was it entering my space. Okay. Yep. And then... I'm gonna be taking damage every time I touch this thing, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep. But you got your uh... ridiculous to hit, so you're fine. I am going to... <laughs> I can't do this. I can't do this even if I was there. But just know that I am imagining, like, cartoon me grabbing you by the ankles and doing, like, the Hulk Loki smash thing back and forth. 
Um, carry on. Oh, the distance is not the main contributing factor of you not doing that. I, I know, that's why I said I couldn't do it even if I was there. There is no, there is zero possibility. But it usually I just is. Wanted to make that, I just wanted to make that clear. That's a new one, because it usually is just the fact that if, like, if you were there, I would smack you. Nah, nah, I went full cartoon logic on that one. It's the only thing satisfying enough. Okay. Um... Love you guys. The end of your turn, <laughs> <laughs> um, huh. What is that I mean, the end of your turn? I mean, I guess I can take a step back, huh? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, you could. Probably smart. Uh, Fanable objects that are no more carried. Um, touches the phoenix or hits it with a melee attack. Does that include being in its space? And if so, when does that resolve? Um, when did you do the attack? Right, but but so, but like how do, like Killian could be standing there and end his turn and he wouldn't take any so, fire damage, right? I don't think you can enter its space, mm -hmm. but it can enter yours. I think it enter yours. Okay, I think so it, that's well, that's not necessarily true because two sides difference. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, hmm, interesting. But no, I'm asking specifically because if the damage only procs when it enters my space, I'm going to stay there because I won't be taking damage if I stay in the space. Mm-hmm. That's how yeah, it's no, written, at least. That, that makes sense, yeah. All that's right. how it's written. Yeah, I'll stay there then. Uh, that was all my attacks <laughs> from last turn. Go yeah, around, it was. Right? Yeah. Clock off. Yep. Uh, I would also like to note this for Eric's sake. Um, the two samurai don't have initiatives, so whatever they're doing, they're doing. Yep, I'm keeping track. Okay, good. Sure. Kelly just looks they're, up and is like, oh, cool. They're they're not major players in this fight. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> they're there, but they're <laughs> not. <I sneezed. laughs> the rest of it got cut off. All it was was, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that was the, the first part of me sneezing. Yep. Okay, that's my turn. Okay. Mamroth <laughs> is going to be very confused. I mean, um, same. He's probably actually going to disengage and he will save this place for him. It's probably he's going to go in between a couple of his guards over here. If Kelly sees him running, he'll just be like, we'll keep it busy while you don't die. Um, the two um, the two sword fighters are going to bail as well. <laughs> They're both going to disengage and just singed as they are. For it. Yeah. The general, oh fuck, oh shit tactic. Yep, yep. I did not sign up for this. I'm not getting paid for this. Basically. <laughs> Even if okay. I had fucked that, this job ain't worth it. You know, yep. this switch makes me realize something for a tactic later. In the same way that because I could breathe underwater if I'm having trouble with an enemy, I can throw them in the water and fight them there. I'm like, I can consistently resist fire damage. I could light myself on fire and throw myself at someone. <laughs> oh my god. And they'd be taking twice the damage I would be. Oh no. I mean, I could yeah. like heat weapon your sword if you want. <laughs> that would work. Okay. Um, sorry. So there's going to be one attack against the last Ash Gang. Oh, which... God, oh that misses. There'll be another attack from his ally. Holy hell. Third guy? That, uh, the third guy is going to go against the giant crazy bird that's in his face right now. I respect the cojones of that guy. He's deserving of him. Yeah, that was that was good. Wow, um, that's eighteen damage, and he takes one d ten. Yeah, he's looking rough. He, he, you see him kind of eyeing the door, like he wants to. He's thinking he should get out of here. Um. Uh, Spider. Do you see that really clear shot to this guy who's currently engaged with that one? Oh, yeah. And is not looking in this direction, I would presume. Oh, yeah. No, he's not. 
god, what a hit. Ooh. I, I got by the rest on more damage than Ashton has. That's 17. 17? <laughs> Sneak attack plus, yeah, 17. Right. <coughs> okay. Uh, that puts him at. Uh, okay, that that puts him at dead. That's what <laughs> I diagnose you with dead. <laughs> oh my god, spider! I'm so proud. Um, I think I think spider might before. like curve around here, just where mm. there's no enemies and it might be safer. That'll be it. Alrighty. Chester, spell spells on making biter stronger. Like Jesus. <laughs> I mean, uh, all right. He's consistent uh, damage, which is what we don't have a lot of. Mm -hmm. yeah. and Ooh, that that advantage. Both. He dropped a one. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. that's also plus a d4, anyways. Um, that should be an extra d4 on the Phoenix from Bastion's blessing. Mm. Aha. Uh -huh. Have a little bit. Oh, yeah. my ish shit. <laughs> okay, um, the uh, guards near Memrith are going to try and take out the uh, uh, Ashkin guy blocking the way to try and get out of there. No. My guy. Oh, dear. Um, Is this like fucking styrofoam axes or something? <laughs> Tight this quarters, will... and they have big weapons. Yeah, this the one will come back ones. out and take a swing at the Phoenix as well, because it's got nothing better to do. No. Oh. And that's it for blue. Okay, start I was. Of... I hate my initiative this time. <laughs> start of the <laughs> Phoenix's turn. This is gonna hurt. This is going to hurt. That's the plan. One, two, three, I... five, six <laughs> targets. Okay. All Fuck right. Off. What do you mean six targets? <laughs> there are six things hey, that can wait. be hit right now. Oh, I thought you were. I thought you had a spell that dealt damage to six targets. That was like no. no. So one, two, three. Nemia. Six targets. Uh -huh. Is this up? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh yeah, you're, you are correct. Roll ahead, d seven. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I still got a three, so this is Nemia. You see the big form of the phoenix kind of, like, back up on, uh, you know, like it fluffs up and brings its giant beak down on top of you. Could you not? Ouch. Ooh, you resist fire, Well, right? yeah, resist fire. That's a lot of fire damage. <laughs> 16. 16 oh, so damage. sorry. The the second damage is at the start of your turn. You are literally on fire now. <laughs> oh. 12 fire oh. damage. Yeah, 12 fire okay. damage. Okay. Technically, oh, it's 16 because it's the start of their of her turn, unless somebody else douses. Um, yes. No, wait. No, yeah. yeah. So it's, it, she, <coughs> Demia could be put out before the start of the turn, so. It's Depends possible. on Bastion. And then, Hillian, uh. as the the you know the strikes down with the beak, the form flips around as some fiery talons uh, just strike at you to Hi. rake at you. Uh, all right, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and give a. You don't know more on that. Yeah, yeah, that that makes sense. Um, so thirteen. Hit all two. <laughs> yep. Take two damage. There you go. Um. Alrighty. And then. I mean. Doesn't really need to go anywhere. It's kind of hurting all of you just by being there. So. Yeah, just let, uh, the phoenix lets out this giant shriek. Bastion! Yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. That's, it's my turn, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How, uh... Okay. 
what would I have to roll for? Like, is Bastion aware of the lore of Phoenixes, like the ever reviving thing? Or no? I mean, <coughs> uh, make a history check or uh, nature. Ooh. I'd imagine that'd be fairly colloquial, though. Like, dragons are ancient, Phoenixes are reviving, kind of thing. How much yeah, did and... Nessa tell him? Ah. Actually, yeah, that's a <laughs> good point. That's a, that's a large yeah. basis of information. So, yeah, that's I think... kind of what I'm He's only talked to us a couple times, but it was for like long periods of forging. So. Also, I imagine you're vaguely aware of, you know, phoenixes can revive. The typical phoenix is not a continuous revival. <laughs> there is a death involved at some point. But... Um, with an 18, you do know that, you know, the the primordial phoenix can continually revive. I can okay. tell you exactly how part of that conversation went if there was any reference to Richter. Yeah. Well, I guess I was going to say, Richter helps with forging. <laughs> Even if he wasn't there, uh, be like, nothing would be going, yeah, sometimes I have my friend Richter, he comes in and helps, he can just reach right into the fire and pull things out, like, he doesn't even need gloves or anything, it doesn't even singe him. Um... Sometimes he just goes whoosh into a big flamey bird and then comes back to himself. It's uh, it's pretty neat actually. It, he's usually around in like the the fire uh, fire plane. They're wandering around in the world. Um, yeah, that's why he couldn't be here today. He had some sort of like fiery thing to deal with. But when he is around, he's a great help. <laughs> he had business, fire business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. Bastion is going to yell over to Lena and just go, like, hey, can you weather this for a bit or no? Like, how, how bad's the fire for you? Um, Lena is just, uh, I don't know how Lena would respond. Yell and throw herself at his neck. Mm. Um, <laughs> for an answer, you can see my health. Yeah, I'm, I'm more so wondering, does Lena want... It depends on how that d10 rolls on every attack. If I get a 9 on every attack that I make, then in two attacks, my current... Um, if I get a 9 or a 10 on every attack, in two attacks, my health is almost halved. If I get a 1, then I'm okay. Okay, here's more so asking, like, does she want protection? <sighs> a pr protection would be appreciated, because I can't resist this. Okay. Um, kind of seeing that he's gonna kind of like force his way through the space because it's two sizes larger. He can just do that. Um, he's going to just walk up to right here and just hand on. I imagine the quickly heating up armor and just keep it going. All you right. are resistant to fire until like I'll stretch bricks. Okay. Thank you. Mm. Uh, okay. Actually, I don't have much of a bonus action. But... Linda needs a glass of milk for the spicy food. Essentially. <laughs> uh, I know we discussed it, but I never confirmed with you, Eric. Did Bash never get the chance to work on his shield, or no? Was he stuck working on the um, the stuff that never got finished? What were you doing with the shield? He was adding the strap, so he could swing on quick. Oh! Yeah, that's. I, I think we said that was fine because it's pretty trivial. Yeah, I know that was for Killian. I don't know if we ever discussed it for Bastion. It's fine. I imagine it be across the board to whoever wanted it. Okay. okay <laughs> Congrats, cool. you fortunate us a homebrew rule. <laughs> yep. Congrats, yeah. you just you just made one of my uh, future subclass things redundant. Yeah, I'm, we'll so we'll, we'll work on that. To be fair, your everything makes most of my buffing stuff redundant. <laughs> So, good for that, I guess. Um, yeah, in that case, Bastion is actually going to step out. Give three other people the target, but... Eh. Yeah, but it, it's... There's some stuff that it, um, Killian's usually way too far ahead for. Hmm. It's like he just moves quickly. Um, backing out to there. Yeah, two more people. Okay. And he's looking... He's going to look over back tomorrow and just be like, You caused this shit... Fix it, or your friends are here are gonna die, and not by us. Okay. And that's it. 
Yeah, at the end of your turn. Um, the Phoenix is going to make a peck at the uh, Dragonborn right next to you, Killian. Mm. Or beak attack, whatever. As he is roasted. Also, he has had 10 creatures in range, I'm pretty sure, but that's the Hey, Nemia. Yes. Um, a bucket of water. That bucket of water. That hurt. I guess I take uh, my four damage now. Oh, yep. Uh, and you are on fire. Oh. And may I may may I not be anymore? Is that um an action for me to take? Yeah. Yep. Um, and one that I will. Um, sorry, my cat is eating my headphones li much literally, like, you know, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> As a side curiosity, would you allow us to, like, press a digitation that lets you, like, put out small fires to do that as well? Mm. I guess still this is action. more like magic yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah uh, it's, it's still in action. It's, mm, yeah, I guess technically. It's, it's just given it range. Yeah. Ah, yes, that's right. Um, it's not like I have the spell. I'm just curious for other people. Technically, other people. the small the campfire. Says, mm -hmm. uh, the ability just says until a creature uses an action to put it out. It doesn't say the creature has to be adjacent. I mean, you kind of assume they're adjacent for, like, padding it out, but there's not a specified range on the ability. Mm -hmm. That's a strange point, but you're right. Because I guess you could also flavor that too if someone like had a bucket of water and they like tossed it like ten feet to the right, like that take an action. Yeah. It's just making it reasonable for it to be in that range. Or just they blow really, really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. If chili was a wind spirit. <laughs> yeah. Um well despite the fact I will def most definitely uh Put, put the fire out as an action. Uh, that was rude. And I'll use Bardic Inspiration on Lena. Don't. I've got plenty of to hit. Oh, you're right. You're just like... Yeah. Oh, did you on... give me one way back? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well, yes. It's... You still have that. Yeah, I still How have that. Does, it, does that go? Bastion has the lowest to okay. hit of any character here. <laughs> And I then, <laughs> if anyone is just carrying my inspirations in their pocket, I'll give it to Bastion then. Well, well, I, I was wondering because you because it says three out of three on your thing, so I was wondering like. Oh no, I, that's that's on reset. I don't think I gave you um, any since we arrived here. Uh, so no, you gave him one. That was as I did. Yeah. Uh, ah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, yes. So, so yes, you are. Yep. So you you are down to two. Sorry. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Then this is down to one when I go to inspire yes. Bastion. Yes. Perfect. Um, that's for my bonus action. And now Chili. This, this guy's still, the poor guy still alive. It's not looking good, but yeah, he's uh, still up. Yeah. Well... Not, not for long, hopefully. Let's try oh, a death geez. case. An exploding death case of 24 damage. Oh, hey. nice. He goes. Yeah, yeah, he, he is he is dead. <laughs> he just drops to the ground, clutching his face, slumps over sideways. He's he's dead dead. I don't think he's being true resurrected or wished. Yeah, alive. no. <laughs> Unless you got a really loving grandmother. I'll point to uh, our, our the, the the whole group surrounding that guy, and I'll say, "You guys, eyes up here!" And I'll point to the bird. Um, and I can't get out of range without being pecked to death, right? Mm. I, I do believe there is. Um... It has fifteen feet of reach. Ouch. 
Oh, it has 15 feet of reach outside oh, yeah. the, the token's like uh, size? Um, no, sorry. That should be 10 for its size. Uh, oh. I was still, I'd, I'd like to take a step back then. It's not. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> At least I, I, it gives me some sense of safety. I'll say again, uh, the safest place we can be is in the Phoenix because you take damage only when it enters your space, not when you're staying in its space. Uh, oh. Yes, but if you spread out a bit, it's not all four at the same time. Mm -hmm. if, it's, if, we're not all, if we're not all bunched together, we have to pick two people to be on fire. Why? Because it has to enter our space. And if he leaves your guys' space, it gets opportunity attacks. I... If, if we run out of back. I guess. And uh, sorry, that, but I will wrap my turn there. Yeah, just two seconds. Okay, at the end of your turn, the phoenix, you know, begins to flap its wings and quickly shoots over towards Memrith. Ah, no. Wish it That's good for me, at least. This actually works very well for me with where I was going for. Oh! Get fucked. So, yeah, it's kind of like sloped up on the sides, right? So, the, the phoenix is like clawing and trying to get through the, the wood, but... Could that be flavored as like Kelly and, Lane, and Lena like yanking on its feet as it goes by? On its tail. Yep. <laughs> it's pull a feather. Yep. It gets a phoenix out of that shit. Um, Mamrath is, however, in its space now. Way better resist. Yep, yep, he absolutely resists. It turns out he's actually a blue dragon. He's just been painting his scales to fill the role. Now that would be. He resisted fire last time. There was a fireball. Mm -hmm. It was a fluke. <laughs> he's a gold dragon in disguise. That would be a great twist, actually. <laughs> Eric is sweating. I called it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Fair, Eric, Eric's always sweating whenever you say shit, I feel like, at this point. <laughs> okay. Mara's turn. Will she do? What's the dog doing? You see, Mara just kind of lets out this angry growl and casts a spell. Cheeky. Of course she can. Eric, I hate to inform you that none of us have um, Counterspell. What's up? None of us have Counterspell, unfortunately. Okay. Why do you want to Counterspell? I've noticed, that, I've noticed that you've added um, a pause between saying that the spell is cast and saying what the spell is. I mean, so that's not your really good for Counterspell. I mean, that's a good habit to have in general, to be honest. It's, yeah. yeah fair. Regardless of the party. Okay. Uh, Alrighty, so then it's going to be... 20 foot radius sphere. You're about right. Eric, I'm going to immediately have a stupid question for you as soon as you like, draw the sphere. Have you realized? Mm -hmm. Oops. Uh, wrong spot. Hold on. Hold on. Gosh darn it. Keep drawing little tiny squares, and that's not what I'm going for. Twenty foot radius. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Forty foot diameter. It's square di it's square diagonal. It doesn't it doesn't fill the tent, but it's a good two thirds, I wanna say. So Mara is trying to protect Mammoth. That's that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six. As of right now, how is Mammoth looking? He hasn't taken too much in okay. the way of attacks. He's not so. bloody. Is he? 
No, no, no. Okay. Thank you. I'll just do that. That'll work. <laughs> uh, Eric, unfortunately, immediate question. What? The entire tent's on fire. How strong is the updraft? <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this, this tent is not lasting much longer. Yep, I just mean, like, how strong is the air rushing upwards because of the heat? Um, you're thinking it's going to sail away, or what? Ten no, miles the, the, per hour dispersing the fog. Yeah. Uh, 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 I don't know how fast updrafts are, so if you want to just ignore it, that's fine. Um, yeah, we'll ignore that for now. Like, the Phoenix has been in the here for all of, you know, this is the second round, right? So 12 seconds. Not even that know. long. Yeah. We, we <laughs> squished her last round. It hasn't even been six seconds yet. Yeah. So, yeah. Temperature is building, though. And at that, Mara will actually run out the back and start running around. Meet up with them. This guy... Sends a very angry look her way. Lena, you are in a fog cloud. Yeah, but I know where the phoenix was last. Yes. Also, we have, like, a general glowing side to the fog. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's orange over there. Going over. And, um... Yeah, the spear's coming out. Um... Can I grapple this, or is it too large? I can only grapple, like, one size larger than me, so this doesn't count. Yep. It's also made of fire. <laughs> that should be funny. Alright, I'm just gonna stab it. Yep. It is at disadvantage. No, it's not. It can't see me either. Oh, you're unless right. Unless it's not blindsight. It can't... It, fog is correct. a equalizer, unless there's blindsight involved. Yep. Thank you. Um, so... There's just no opportunity attacks in any direction. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a two-handed spear. Let's go. Uh, 22 to hit. 22 Got a d4 hit. on there. So that's going to be uh, 22 damage. Yep. And then the second attack. And let's put a Divine Wrath and a d4. Mm. So that's um, 20, 41. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I get 2d10 of fire damage. Yes, you do. Um, okay, 12. All right, that, that kind of hurt. Kind of hurt. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, yes, half to six. Thank you. Yep. And uh, you know what? While well, that lasts, I'm just going to go ahead and use the second wind just in cases. That's much better. Yeah, much, yeah. much better. Okay. 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 I'm feeling a little better. Um, action bonus action, and you know what? I'm gonna. Now nah, I'm staying there. I'm good. Alrighty, Gillian. All right. So the phoenix is fairly lower to the ground. Yeah. At least low when I yeah, last saw it's it. it's like it's like perched on the side and like trying to claw through the bleachers to get to Mammoth. Cool. Um. So. Uh, Killian's going to be running up the bleachers. Okay. Step, 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 step. Okay. Uh, he wants to jump and land on the phoenix. Ooh. Okay. So I can't <laughs> grapple it, but you've let me grapple onto things larger than me before. Yeah, yeah. So I'd like to... Ha. Okay. <laughs> um... <laughs> hmm. Technically, you didn't say that it was when we entered the Phoenix's space, only when it enters ours. Right, but you're also he's also on its back. Yeah. Also, I'm <laughs> jumping onto a Phoenix. I'm not going to begrudge him for making me take fire damage. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Fair. <laughs> so seven, so six, so three. Yep. Uh, three But yeah, you could easily you know, get on the back of the thing. It's also any creature that touches the Phoenix. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right. that's that's true. So I assume that was uh, like a single attack of my action, like with grappling. Dude, just 
<laughs> oh, so you're gonna grapple? <coughs> oh, uh, yeah, make a grapple. Actually. Alrighty. Didn't even Boop. think about that. Yeah. 17. Okay, okay. Uh, let's see, what would it do? Um, oh, it would just try and wriggle out. Yes, yes, it would. <coughs> ah! Ooh. Okay, yeah, no, you, you're firmly grappled onto its back. All right. Firmly grasp it. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to, uh, since I got friends next to it, um, I don't think I'm quite near reckless for this. So I'm just going to use the cloak for a single advantage. I'm going to plunge the sword of kings. Uh, can I do targeted attacks? What would you like to do? Uh. Hmm. Cut its head off. I'd like to go for the eye. Okay. Okay, sure. Advantage, and, and it'll be a little bit harder to hit. Yep, like with like half cover or something? <laughs> I think so. I think typically the rules is like it's uh, additional f like five, right? Or no? I don't think. Are there rules, uh, are there rules for targeted attacks? There's an option rule for it. That's what, that was, it's what okay. we've been doing is either half or three quarters. I don't remember which. Yeah. And three quarters, the minus five, or the plus five is the equivalent to a disadvantage anyway, so on average. So. Okay. All right. So. Oh, uh, I'll figure it out. It adds to the AC. So I'll. Yeah. We'll see how Actually, it goes. Mm, no, I got a better idea. Rather than sort of kings, I'm going to use a claw. Okay. Um, for a second one? Yeah. 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 <laughs> mm. <coughs> In that case, I might. Yeah, I'm gonna reckless. It's gonna hit me anyways. It's got like a plus fifteen to hit or whatever. Yeah, uh, it's like yeah so reckless uh first claws onto one of the eye. Yeah. Twenty-four. That Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, that hits. Just outside of the D4, unfortunately. I thought you do the D four and then it just stays. It's not a continuous thing. Or am I thinking uh, of something uh, else? You're thinking of something else. It you have to okay. be within me. You think, all it, you think it was Xenia's aura? Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, can you, was that enough to take out the eye, or do I need more damage on it? You have injured the eye. It is difficult to see. All right. Then it still I'll has go, another. And I'll claw the other. <laughs> okay. This will just be single advantage. <laughs> that, that is enough. All right. For all intents and purposes... It is, it is considered blinded. Yep. So just kill him, just up the, uh, jumping off the top of the bleachers and just both hands on the side of its heads. Uh, it's, uh, both hands on the side of its head, just mm -hmm. and holding on for as best as he can with fingers in the eyes. I imagine that full like Spider Man dive with like, both arms above the hands of fucking gorilla. <laughs> Ooh, ouch. <laughs> That's the fire damage from attacking it. Yep. Yep. 18. I uh, have two. Nine. Alright. And okay. that'll be me. That fog cloud is such a fucking problem. <laughs> it's <was> not <laughs> helpful. <laughs> fog cloud is almost never helpful unless you plan a ret to retreat. Fog, cl fog cloud for Mara is useful because it allows the, um, allows the guy to get out without needing to disengage instead of it being able to dash. Yep. That's it. <laughs> yep, that's, pretty that's much all it. she's trying to do right now, so it's fair. Mm -hmm. yep. So, <coughs> with this path currently blocked by a bunch of people, Mammoth is actually going to run. I mean, technically he could hear them here, just he'd be at half speed. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, so... Mammoth's gonna run off to the top. Good choice. Okay. The knights are... <coughs> it's not a whole lot of vision. They are going to... This one's gonna clear out.
All right, Spider. Spider's going to run out of here, clamber up on Bastion's back, and aim the crossbow over his shoulder and hold a shot uh, if there's anything that either pops out of the fog cloud or if the fog cloud lifts. Okay. Okay, okay. Alrighty, this knight will make an attack. Jeez. Just having no luck against this guy. Mm -hmm. Oh, did I delete him? Oh, I did. Gosh darn it. Oh boy, I deleted him on accident. It's okay. Let me guess, there's, an, there's another um, Ash Gang dude in armor hanging around. Nah, Team Yellow hasn't had initiative for a round. Uh, yep. Looking at the thing. I'm gonna guess they reason? were... They might have been linked to one of these guys in yellow or something, and that guy had the initiative, and he got deleted off the map to keep it clear. Yep. That's that's pretty much exactly what happened. <laughs> I've been there. I mean, he could just die of a heart attack. It's okay. I'd be okay with that, too. Okay. So I can't see any of those, like, little squigglies anywhere. I can't see any of the color things. I can't see the two that I put on myself. It's very strange. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see here. The tent is very obviously on fire now. Uh, for those not in the fog cloud, uh, most of the bleachers are on fire. Everything is smoking. Uh, holes are beginning to rip in the tent just from you know being eaten by the fire. Um, there must be little... such panic in the carnival right now. Oh, yes. Um... What should we do? Killian, you're on its back. Yep. It's going to fly up out of the, the fog cloud. Huh. Um, basically, you're, you're going to go straight up through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's going to... I guess that would provoke opportunity attacks. No, it wouldn't. No, it would not. Aha. That's why I jumped on. This did not work out as Mara was hoping. As um, the Phoenix can now see Mamrath and swoops down I on I blinded him. it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's it is blind. <laughs> Though if you want to say it, tried to get out of the fog cloud and only realized it still can't see. That'd be fun. Yeah, it can't, it can't do anything. Yep. So does it pull out of the fog cloud? It goes up instinctively. Okay, Biter shoots it. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep, there you go, that works. You gave a fucking Phoenix cataracts. Yes. Fire! Double damage. Where to go? <gasps> oh! Doesn't matter. Ah, right there. Uh, I I'm accidentally right there. did it as Lena. Um, let me hit the sneak attack uh, a second time. Oh, Plus 2d4. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. 2d4. Plus 2d4. Yes. Wait, does the sneak attack get maxed? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, well, good question. Does the... Does the snack second sneak attack die get maxed? Uh, that would be does. twelve instead of five. That is the, oh, and, the, then the D, and then the other D and then the other D4 would get maxed. Um oh the crossbow damage hasn't been maxed for okay. Ten plus eight in that case. Eighteen plus two is twenty. Plus another twelve if that's the case for thirty-two. Plus one plus four for thirty-seven. Okay. Oh. Fucking hell, Biter. <laughs> Just a little pew. I would like to know. Bastion has dealt quite literally zero damage this fight. <laughs> Bastion's been busy with other things, like keeping. No, I just off. missed. Yeah, that too. I grappled a guy before combat started. That's what I did. <laughs> so it knows where you are, Killian, because yeah. you're on its back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you red it's oh, yeah. reckless, but he, but it's blind. Yeah, so it's a neutral attack. Would I get cover for being on its back? <laughs> okay, my my question is more so, how is the bird attacking him? Yeah, it's like, yeah. like if, I, if I'm on its head with my eyes in its sockets. True. Uh, with my, my eyes, eyes in its, eyes, its socket. <laughs> can't words. If, with my hands in its... Weird way to blind it. Yeah. There is no beak. There is no beak. Maybe you can get its talons up. I don't know. That's a good I mean, question. Could theoretically talons... In seen... theory, talons could work, but boy, that would be an awkward move. Yeah, I, I, I'm just offering for, like, half cover. Yeah, no, that's that's fair. That is fair. Okay. 
Uh, yeah, no, it's going to attempt to bring the talons up to shake you off. Um, yeah, that'd be normal. And then I get a uh, half cover is plus three at AC? I believe so. Plus two. Plus two. Yeah, right. you're right. Plus two. <laughs> yeah. She's a lot Yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. Um, well, uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna keep this going, shall we? <laughs> so you take two damage. Again. Giant skin. I don't have any ranged healing for one person. It's okay. I take like half falling damage. I can just jump off. Yeah, no, I know. Just the only thing I have is my healing like, word, and everyone, I can't fucking see anyone because the fog cloud. And the second talons. Yep, I'm sure you're still good. Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. Uh, it was 27 to hit again. I'm like, oh, it was a different one. Uh, so then 32, so then... Uh, 16. 16. That was a bit more of a chunk. Yep. Yep, yep. And it's going to continue flying upwards. And it's going to go up about 60 feet. 60. Total 60. Total 60. Gotcha. Question. Well, now I've got to get it right. Just give me a second. <laughs> Someone got Earthbind? <laughs> oh, I was going no. to the fucking circus today. <laughs> <laughs> if you're not expecting this kind of shit by now. <laughs> That's why I have a Rift 5. <laughs> 60 feet. Okay, cool. Um, Bastion's going to summon a spiritual weapon underneath the motherfucker. <laughs> okay. Okay. Because sure. it's exactly 60 feet, so. Alright. Oh, fuck. Okay, you know what? No. Do you get. Ah! 15 hit. 15 Do you get hit? advantage if I can't see? Yeah. Oh, shit, yeah. I do. That's right. That's why I wanted to do that. That's so right. I knew I had a lot of Bardic that. Inspiration. Yeah, yeah. I forgot the Bardic Inspiration. I forgot that I had. Uh -huh. uh, right. Okay. So that's a. It's a something to hit, but it's enough. I'm pretty 24. Sure. Oh, yeah. That ends. Okay. So okay. 11 force damage. Yep, yep. All right. Yep. And that's a bonus action. And as an action, we have Frost. With mm -hmm. advantage. So. Crit! Oh. Crit! Oh! So additional 16 cold damage. Uh, plus a d4 on each of those. Uh, no, so, plus a 4. 2d4 uh, d4, yeah. on the ray no, of frost. No, 1d4 plus 4. Yeah, yeah, true. No, 2d4 plus, plus 4. Because 1 from each, yeah. and then yeah. plus 4. Uh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So additional 9 damage on top of that. So this and its awful. movement is reduced by 10. So, so Assuming it doesn't re resist or immune cold. Yeah, I'm giving max damage for what I'm doing. Alien. Yeah. You suddenly find yourself not grappled on the top of a large flying firebird. <laughs> cool. Oh my god. Oops. 60 feet. We're 60 feet in the air? <laughs> If I just killed Killian I'm with another fine. cantrip, I'm fine. I'm fine. Didn't we get? And <laughs> you are all, and you both plummet to the ground. How fast do we plummet? Uh, 300 feet per round. Damn it! Ow! Yeah, that's straight to the ground. So 60 feet up is 66. 66. I don't suppose I could have tried to have her land neck first or anything. And do that all again? Huh? Either if she's just paralyzed, that would be a great way to. <laughs> Meh. Alright, T damage. So 19. Uh, technically, well, technically, that is bludgeoning damage. Yes, that is bludgeoning. Okay, but I know. So 19 to 18 to 9 to 8 to 4. <laughs> Why does it have twice? Because I resist falling damage or I resist bludgeoning damage. <laughs> you, I'm sorry, you resist like, falling damage? <laughs> Yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Take half damage from falling. That's Where hilarious. Perfect self. I don't feel nearly as bad now. Uh, and I don't fall prone. 
Ha! Yep. Lily is probably upset. Okay. Um, yeah. Fuck, I, I never got to read it for this. Goddamn. Once again, she is prone. But you are in the fog cloud again, so no one mm. saw the... No one saw that. <laughs> as, as Killian's falling, he's gonna, like, just yell out, Mara, stop with the fog! Maybe it did see the first 20 feet. <laughs> I saw the glow vanish. And heard a boom. It's like, oh, we're okay, so, okay, we have to grapple her. We have to grapple her, we have to cut her fingers off so she can't cast spells. Mm-hmm. Look, if Fog Cloud is up, I can try to fucking paralyze her. I see Fog Cloud to be down. Okay. If you're yelling this out, Mara might hear you. Maybe mm. not. So Killian yelled it, so. Hey, uh, was there anything else? Um, shit, man. Uh, going up to there. Uh, I'm gonna leave Biter behind. And just at the entrance, just check to see, like, just head out the door. Are people still standing, like, around, or have they suddenly no. fucking run? So, peeking out the, the front of the tent, you see just, there's there's chaos everywhere. There's fire, there's a whole bunch more Ash Gang um, just, you know, running around causing chaos. There's, you know, people, you know, fighting them off. You see L'Oreal there. She casts oh a quick spell, and like the roots of a tree just intertwine over one of the ash gang and like roots him in place and you just see see her going around doing this to ev- all the mm-hmm. ash gang she can see uh, in that case he's gonna just to l'oreal just yell at her like l'oreal fucking phoenix i think help <laughs> okay okay <that's> <laughs> okay Nemia. all right so things are not looking up for my man. Um, fortunately, I have exactly 30 movement speed to vault to that place. Um, yeah, you know where Killian fell, so you could probably find your way through the fog cloud. You bump into him, he landed standing. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, you standing? Yeah. Oh, bump, oh I, I bump into you as I looked into the ground, expecting, you know, uh, bits and pieces of of, <laughs> of Killian. He said, oh, yeah, did, well, at, le- at least you're up. Uh, did... He, he oh. puts his hand on the top of Nemia's head and turns her head towards where you can just barely see the outline of the, of the lady on the ground. Uh, look there. Break her fingers. So, oh, real quick, uh, yeah, a point was brought up. Uh, Mara can drop at any time, so it will be dropped. All right. So at that point, it turns it turns Nevia's head towards the now fully visible r- redheaded lady on the ground. Break her fingers. Um. um uh, so you mean? What you, you, say again. Let me lower the music. Actually, I'm you mean? Yeah, go ahead. All right. You 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 mean like? Don't you, don't you need a little help? Are you okay? He's bleeding. He, he looks kind of fucked up, but he, but he's he's more concerned about uh, the one on the ground right now. Gonna be more singed if she gets back up. Um, but I mean, as far as what do I even what do I even do? Okay, um, break her fingers. That's it. Stop her from spell casting out of character. I, I'm trying to trying to make it so she can't cast spells, and we can basically restrain her so we don't keep killing her and turning into a phoenix. Ah. Uh, well, I don't know if I can, you know, break her fingers for that, but this might do the trick. Oh! <laughs> that works. Are you casting the spell? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, oh, shit. <laughs> If she's still blinded, no kind of spell. Ah! Wait, no, no, she's not. Oh, she's not. No, she's... Okay, okay she is... I was like, she, I was like, if she's still blinded. I was going to say, she's she's perfect condition like Richter would be? Yeah. Okay. Fuck off. Uh, I'm going to deliver this bitch to one of my own characters, and he is going to be over the moon. <laughs> uh... 
<laughs> Unless L'Oreal's done some real fun or like the uh, dude she's trying to kill us with some real fucking shit. Interesting. Let me check something real quick. Okay, you you just lost tongue privileges. <laughs> I mean Did I did I did I interrupt? I, is this like interrupting the process? What? Do you, what? Like she, the counter spell. You it lose fails, the action. You lose the spell slot. The spell doesn't yeah. work. Yep. Yep. Also, to be uh, fair, I mean... even if you, even if uh, it, it doesn't work like this, but even if you got silence off completely and then she counter spelled it, she can still do it because it's only a somatic uh, component, not a verbal component. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, I was thinking of the legality of using mantle of majesty which is like a bonus action to use command without expending anything but Absolutely. possible right yeah we could do that yeah uh, unless, unless hold on unless it's coming from an item that's two level spells in the same turn uh, yeah that would not be possible yeah that's why yeah uh, that's what i was asking I um <laughs> Then in, in in that case, uh, I'm all of it. I'll look over my shoulder and say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm a little chilly. Yeah, roll magic dice. You need to recharge your chili's deputies. Uh huh. So I need to, nope. Jelly, There's another fingers. way to silence people. Bam. That wasn't as dramatic as they expected because, you know, Chili's literally leaping on top of her. Mm. <laughs> but uh, let's let's zoom next to it and it, she will bite and claw. At advantage because Lily is prone. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Hopefully I expect. <laughs> I'll say again, if we just kill her again, she's just going to turn into a phoenix again. We need to disable her. Mm -hmm. No lethal Perfect. damage <laughs> to the hands. Is that possible? Yeah, I mean, that, would, that would be a target attack, theoretically. Yeah, target, yeah, target yeah. attack her hands. Eat her fingers. Uh huh. Ouch. <laughs> Critical bite to the fingers. Oh, that's and... less than two shit. Oh, yeah. um, yeah. Okay. And the claws. That worked as targeted attack on her hands. I mean, I, I. Um. Okay. Damage. Uh. Twelve. Nineteen. Twenty-eight. Any resistance to fire? Oh well, yes, of course. I forgot about that. Yep. Yep. So. Full immunity. Uh, Twenty. Yeah. But still, damage. Yeah, that's two. Average people's worth of damage just to her fingers. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. Yeah, spells they in the toes. They they don't look very good. Let's we'll just say that. Mm. And that is all. No movement. That's it. Uh huh. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Mara. For anyone paying attention, she is regrouping with Namrath. Yeah, we're, we don't know idea. Lena. Okay. Grapple this bitch okay. with your iron grip. I've yeah, I've got iron grip. Um, I'm I've got like a fucking Looney Tunes. <laughs> nope. I've got uh. 50 feet of hemp and rope, as is standard in the Explorer's Pack, and I have experience as a guard. That's a good point. Can I just go over, roll roll her over, so that she's face down instead of face up, and just try to immobilize hands? How much of an action, or how many actions would that take? I believe it's action to grapple, and then I was, actually, I was going to look this up the other day. Is it another action to try and restrain with... Yeah, given given the feet, if you're basing it off the feet um, and just trying to have it... I would say, the feet is you grapple, and then while you're grappling a creature, you can restrain it. Mm -hmm. I think it's as a bonus mm -hmm. action. 
but okay. you, but that beat is basically I letting us feet. do the feat for free. So if yeah, you want, you can make feet. it an action and then an action. I up to you though. Yeah, that's I, the thing. Is it an action action or is it attack attack? I'm pretty sure. So restraining someone is a full action. You know. Okay. That's, Grappling that's... is one attack for me normally. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Um. It's Killian very intricate and it takes time to get done. So Killian is on my same initiative. Can we tag yeah. team this? I mean, yeah. Can I just throw him my rope? And just Killian and uh, roll her over. Well, was, start pinning her down. I was gonna say Killian, so Killian will hold her steady if he can. Um, yeah, although, basically, one person uses an action to grapple, other person uses action to restrain. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, could could I get the action? How to say? Could I get multiple tries because the grapple itself is just an attack and not an action? The grapple would have multiple attempts. Okay, so I'm going to try the grapple then because I have advantage, so I'd have the roughly okay. better chance here. All right. Go ahead. So, first one, athletics. Advantage 20. You don't, you don't have oh. any inspiration yet. Uh, does the bardic inspiration work with. That um, should not yeah. be. It's available to check some more tackles. Uh, You're gonna need it. Yeah. Uh, what's your what's your bardic inspiration die, Nick? Uh, it should be one d eight by now, right? Mm -hmm. Eight. Come on. Ugh. Okay. Well, that's yep. That's the first one. All right. Just just kind of squirming and trying to not not let you get hold of her. All right. And um, I just want to make sure I don't have any problems. Alright, and uh, then, yeah, just as I can. There we oh. go. Oh, fuck. Oh! Oh, no. Okay. Wow. She is slippery. Wow. Okay, yeah, no. You, every time you just try to get hold of her, she just slips out of your grasp. Is the crapple, is the crapple considered something with my claws? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> no, it's, no, it's making an attack. It replaces an attack. It wouldn't work. Yeah. yeah. Well. Yeah. Fuck me. Yeah. Hold on. Let me just check my numbers real quick. Seventeen. Well, 18. To be fair, she's also prone. Has minus ten feet to movement, and has landed right there. Even if she disengages, she's taking four. four opportunity it's attacks. it's my turn. Still. Yep. And no, no, but if, if, if it gets to her turn, she we still we still need to disable her spell casting. She can teleport or something. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll yeah. be honest, Lena. Break her jaw. <laughs> I was thinking just like full on stuck the fucking rope in her mouth. Stagger. Either way, <laughs> st stop her from talking. We need to stop I'm her casting first. I'm wondering if that takes an action or if that takes a grapple and then an action. To break her jaw? <laughs> no, to rest. <sighs> Well, th th that's why I say break the jaw because I it takes an attack, a targeted attack. I would assume. Fine. One targeted attack to the jaw, please. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's at advantage. Uh, sir, this is the McDonald's. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen to the jaw. Um. I don't see why that wouldn't. Yeah. Let's be real, Let's be real here. <laughs> and then yeah. I'm going to push Killian aside and grapple her myself. <laughs> I don't, she can't. She can't make that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you have her grappled. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a bonus action. That's my turn. All right. That's verbal and somatic taken care of. Does Biter want to want to check for check her yeah, pockets? I'm, I want Biter to hail Mary fucking grapple this bitch. <laughs> I just love the idea of Biter walking in, like I got you. No, I was thinking Biter just runs in, grabs her spell, casts no, her focus, and runs away. No, no, I know. I'm just fucking. Biter can't get make it. I got the shiny. I got uh, the shiny. Biter can't. Does he have bonus action dash. No. Ah oh, damn. He can shoot that guy. Yeah, he can shoot that guy. Shoot him. He's gonna shoot that guy. <laughs> He's gonna murder. He's been murdering this whole time. Oh, why is that guy's 18 initiative there? 24 to hit. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Whatever. Whatever. He has 11. Oh, I mean, that, that, that hits. With a sneak attack and a... My god, Biter! <laughs> Biter! Uh, D4. Oh my god. Buddy. 
Oh, are I mean, you within 30 feet of him still? Yeah, yeah you're good. You're okay. just barely. Yeah, okay. I mean, it hits. It does damage. Oh, oh buddy. It Absolute had to end at minimum. some point. Yeah. It had to end. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Biter's gonna catch up with Bastion. That's it. It's just a heft on the back. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, this guy, now that he actually has a turn, is just... Man, fuck that guy. Yeah. Um... Yeah, he's just been fighting this guy while all this junk's going on, so he's gonna make a couple attacks, because why not? He's just fucking what do you want Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. 20 hits, yeah, that's a solid blow. Um, guard's still standing, the guard swings back. Smoosh him. Oh. Hit him! <laughs> They're just trading blows at this point. Yeah, I like, think there's progress. a whole side story where like this guy was like his brother, and he was like he, for like five days from retirement. <laughs> you were the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, ooh, ooh, ooh okay. As a reminder, prone, minus 10 feet to movement, cannot cast somatic opponents, theoretically can't do Subtle spell. Opponents. Say again? Subtle spell. Mm -hmm. ah, yep. Fuck you. Sorcerer. Sorcerer, yep. <laughs> Eric could kindly fuck off. So, what? what is her spellcasting focus? Yeah, what's her component? Well, she has to have a she has to have uh, a material component in hand in order to do that. Is it, I actually didn't look at the components for this. Grains of sugar, kernels of grain, and smear of fat. I don't it think she needs, has that. It needs to be in her hand, which I have pinned. And fingers are all broken. Hmm. Yep. So if she has a pure verbal somatic uh, spell that she can then right. subtle, it, she can't have material. At least I did not, not consider that. Okay, let's see. On the other hand, I forgot about that spell that Richter made. Fuck that spell. Horrifying concept. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> let's try this again. Um. It's 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 the thing with like you know the bees that microwave the wasps. <laughs> okay, I was just thinking flaming wasps, but that works too. No, it's, it's the bees that the Japanese honeybees that like get around the yeah. corner hornets. <laughs> See, I never, I mean, never made the connection. I was just thinking of Richter having a bunch of fucking flaming bees. It's that, and it's also, um, I, I, I forget what it was, but there is something that um, uh, Ace from One Piece did at one point that was like burning insects. I'm just thinking oh, of the bugs from Atlantis. That too. I don't think that was in mind at the time, but I, I agree with that now. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> oh, that is interesting. I don't think she has anything for this, then. Uh, really? Nothing just for uh, Oh, God. I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, after, this, after this session, I'm going to go watch like, fucking Attack on Titan, watch how they deal with Titan shifters, because this is going to be this with her. we got to make sure she doesn't <laughs> bite herself and turn into a phoenix. <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to do, though. We need, like, specialists for that kind of shit. Yeah, no, she can't break a grapple at all. There's, there's no way. Uh, it... It forces a reroll when you make the action. Yeah. There's. Yeah, but like. In the greater scheme of things. Like... <laughs> yeah. You know what? You know, she really does no choice. That's. Yeah, she can't do anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so she's, she's going to attempt to break free. Okay. I don't see this going well, but she will attempt. It's possible. She's killing twice. Nope. And I can't roll below that. I that's my minimum. A twenty eight? Uh, no, a fourteen that's is my minimum. Oh. Yep. Yeah. If I roll a nat one, nothing changes. Yeah, but you could have rolled like a sixteen, you could have rolled a twenty. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, I was saying that specifically for the 14 acrobatics. Okay. Yeah, um... She's pretty stuck, not gonna lie. Um, I think you may have her pinned. Let me just scour the sheet as she frantically thinks of what she can do. But uh, that was her action. (laughs) Unless there's a material component which she would theoretically have access to, like soap or something. Um, I think she's... Like, like, for example, I think mage armor is like a cured piece of leather. So if she's wearing leather armor, you can, in, like, if yeah, you're wearing yeah. leather armor, you can, in theory, cast mage armor without mm-hmm. a material component. Yeah. Although, mage armor wouldn't work if you, you can't cast it if you're wearing armor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, good point. Yeah. Okay, here's, here's what's gonna happen. Mm. She is going to... We'll see if she has easy access to this. She most likely does not. Access plus broken fingers. Oh, yeah, no, but she does not. Okay, yeah, no, she. you see her trying to reach into her pocket for something. But she mm-hmm. can't quite, yeah, she can't quite get there. Yep, I yank <laughs> that hand right back. Bite her pockets! Yep, she's, she's stuck. She can't do anything. All right, Bastion's gonna walk over with Biter to... He feels too short. He feels too short. Uh, he's going to drop down Biter right there. Walk up to here. Um, mass healing word. It, that's going to be five on Killian Mania. The guy next to me. Um, the bound bitch. Uh, you could get yep, uh, uh, these... I can't see him, so no, I can't. Ah. Um, Lena, actually, yeah, I can get basically everyone but Chili here, including Villain. So all of them can gain five. Nice. Uh, yeah, because this one doesn't require them to be willing, so yeah, Villain heals five. Yep. I wonder um, if Edgar's and... looking. <laughs> the one hand is pretty blah. It's, it was it's... 20 damage worth of hand damage. Yeah, she's not using that hand anytime soon. Okay. And then just over the shoulder of this guy. Um, yep. Just, where is it? <laughs> just one, hold, pull, 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 I'm not using it for that, it's not worth it. <laughs> you, you're not, it's, combat's basically over. <laughs> uh, it's not worth it. Right. Just in case some fucking shit happens. Because technically, I, I have an attack opportunity up with her at this range. Ah, that's right. So, does the 14 hit? Um, no. Okay, not I understand. I don't mean, this is not directed towards you, Eric. Just fuck off. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the character, not you. <laughs> Reality can fuck off. Yeah. The Trifrost never hits anything. It makes me very sad. It's a cool weapon. You have exploded a good amount of dudes with the Trifrost. I've killed one thing with it. At the top of the round. L'Oreal will walk, will walk in. Oh, okay. And she'll see you all just basically like... Oh, hi, L'Oreal. It's like, it's like Infinity War right now where all the all the heroes are trying to hold down Thanos. It's kind of like that, except it's a little girl. <laughs> How little are we talking? Because you described a woman when she walked in. No, yeah, she... It's... Uh, on the more... Yeah, relatively. Five Hulks yeah, and a Loki. <laughs> See, normally I'd agree with Biter's right there for comparison, so... Well, wait, it's <laughs> harder than Biter, obviously. Yeah, so, compared to Biter, at least, she's not helpless. No. Also, everything's on fire! Everything yeah. is on fire, this tent is probably gonna come fire. down soon. She she should not have come in. Well, with a wave of her hand, L'Oreal just puts out all the fire, instantly. The whole tent just goes... Pfft. And she does like a little swirly motion, and you see rope just kind of <laughs> snake its way up around um, Lily, and she is restrained. Oh, I, I can't have a thing for. I can't imagine. Can you... Feels good with a broken jaw. Nope. Tend to, 
tend to have specifically timed appearances, but couldn't you be a little bit more late? <laughs> <laughs> I came to help. Someone yelled for me. Bastion's like, hey. As he, as he continued to try to stab the guy over the one dude's shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing this going, like, he'll give up at this point. Combat is over. Right. There, there's no way he's getting out of this. <laughs> Killian's going to sit on Lily and just look to bite her and it's like, check her pockets. Can Biter loot every single pocket pouch? With all his and... tiny hands getting between the ropes. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, there's a whole bunch of various spell components, um, various gems she could use as focus foci. Um, her, pica, I, her pockets to Biter's pockets. Mm -hmm. Yep, I will come up with a list for does she have next a, time. Does she have a cursed um, chromatic orb gem? No. <laughs> <laughs> a chromatic orb of negative four or something. Yes. That's just cruel. Okay. Any claws? Uh, it's really effective. <laughs> um, so he gives up. Um, <laughs> just so. On his back. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he goes to the ground as the knight kind of like restrains him and. He sees his boss goes down, he's like, no, no, hold on, hold on. He just falls backwards like a plank. Okay. <laughs> um, after some time, Mara and Mamreth will return. I was about to say, Killian, go tell the... Oh, there they come. <laughs> I was gonna say, Killian's gonna like, poke his head through like the embery cinders oh, of the side of this and be like, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> So, what are you all doing with her? Uh, do we want to save that for next time? We've got five minutes. Yeah. yeah. It's seven minutes. Um, we need to figure that out. Personally, uh, I'm all for finding out who's got the best nearby facilities for, like, wrap up, throw away the key, complete a mobilization. Yeah. Uh, uh, honestly, at this point, Gillian is like, you guys got her. Bastion's actually going to walk over to the guy who surrendered just to lunch with him. Who's you guys? Everyone. <laughs> well, L'Oreal has Lily magically restrained. Yep, alright. Then he's going to get yeah. up. Lena can <laughs> sit on her. <laughs> <laughs> well, Killian was just sitting on her. So he's like, here, take a spot. <laughs> <laughs> just one Chili immediately that. curls up in the one spot. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna walk over tomorrow. And, and just like, Okay, so what are we doing here? <sighs> Probably leaving, as you see her look over the tent that's destroyed, looking out onto the, the circus grounds where most of the buildings have been burnt down, and seeing the tr uh, people locked in roots all scattered around. This is quite the scene. <laughs> I'm not a scene... That I'd love to leave as, I guess, everything creaks and, you know. It's pretty rough, it's... but I'm not above going again. So, I think the first thing here is you're going to explain what the hell was of that mask. You see her, she's still angry, but uh, lets out a big sigh. Says, well... I suppose. I think we're going to have to take up this conversation next time, though. This is going to get mm. be a lot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can I do a quick thing? Mm -hmm. um, I should walk over to the guy who surrendered. Um, yep. And go by the scruff of the neck. And just like, hey there. Um, I'd rather not break your bones. So, very simple questions, if you don't mind. I would. What's your... You're, you're not. You're having a conversation tomorrow. Um, I know. And just so your name, the lady who just walked in and set everything on fire. What's her name? L Lily. From well, where did you two meet? I was hired. In what city? Name, phone number, home address. 
<laughs> Are you from here? Are you foreign? He doesn't Do want to, to give up. up our newsletter? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's trying to not give up too much information, um, but the gist of it is that, you know, they've been traveling. Um, Lily probably picked him up, you know, hired him. He's just a merc. He got hired in some coastal town. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so you pretty much nods and all right. And what was your mission specifically? Uh, we were coming to take out uh, the Crimson Lord. All right. And I take it that's going to go well for you, which is fair. Uh, you know, I appreciate answering the questions, honestly. I'll probably have more for you later, if not, the local law enforcement will. Um, if you try to run, I'm going to freeze your kneecaps and then hit it with a small hammer so they shatter. So keep that in mind. Um, but if you just stick around, you'll probably do a bit of time in jail and be fine. So I'd recommend sticking around. We'll see how things go. He uh, doesn't say anything, but he's still just kind of uh, the the dragonborn has um, restrained him, and he's just kind of like. You know, Okay. Bastion just kind of shakes the dragonborn's hand if he has a second and just, by the way, nice to meet you. You did a real good job protecting the uh, uh, nobleman there. Good job. He just gives you a nod. (laughs) He gives you a nod and shakes your hand. Alright, he'll just tap with Pat, pat with a guidance just for moral support, and then just walk back in the room for assuming the conversation tomorrow. I guess uh, we will call it there. Small thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, was the mask over here? Uh, like, still on the ground at all? Because I know Pilling kind of punched it off her. Or... No, 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 she took it off she first. took it off. Yeah, so she yeah, she took it off. Does she yeah. have it on her right now? Like, displayed at all? Displayed? No, but I'm sure she has it, like, pocketed or something. Okay. Fair enough. That's all. Just want to know. Okay. <laughs> Alright, well... Until next time. Until next time. <laughs> Until next time. I have some good fucking reasons. <laughs>